everyone. So today we're going to learn how to play the game Spider Solitaire, but for kids. Um, so for the beginner version of this card game, you're going to take out all of the face cards. So you'll only have cards ace to ten. So you're going to shuffle them up and then you're going to lay them out in three rows of eight. Two rows are going to be facing down and the last row is going to be facing up. And I'll just show you how to do that. Okay. So you're going to lay your cards out in two rows of eight. The first two rows are face down. The third row is face up. So now the goal is for the kids to sequence the cards from one to ten, from high to low. So you can only put a lower card on top of a higher card. So I can put my 9 on top of my 10, but I cannot put my 10 on top of my 9. Now, to start this game off easy, you can just have the kids focus on the numbers and not worry about the suits. So I could put my 9 on my 10 and flip up this card, and then put my 8 and flip up this card, and my 7 and flip up this card, and my 6. And then once I have all the cards sequenced from 10 to ace, I scoop the cards up and put them off to the side. So any time that I move a car, the face up card off, I flip up the card below. These two spaces are now free and I can move this card here or I can move another card here if I want to do that. So a way to make this more challenging would be then to, instead of the kids just looking at the numbers, they would also have to look at the numbers and the colors. So then they would only be able to match up reds with reds and blacks with blacks. Now that doesn't mean that in order to move a card out of the way, they couldn't put a red on top of a black. But if I wanted, they wanted to be able to, to scoop the sequence, the sequence would have to be all the same color. So the goal would be to match like colors with like colors. But in the per for the purposes of taking the card off, it could be a different color. They just can't remove the sequence from the game in order to win. Now, it appears that I no longer have any moves, and that is where your extra cards come in handy. So you're going to take the cards and flip up one new row on the bottom of all the cards. And now this is where it gets more challenging. So the students now have to take these new cards and start to sequence them in order to try and get new cards flipped up. If you've ever played Sol Spider Solitaire on your computer, then you kind of have an idea of how this game works. And then you keep going. So the goal, so I can move, see how this six is black and this five and four are black together. That means I can move this pile over here in order to keep the sequence going. The goal is to get all of your cards sequenced and removed from the board and to get rid of all of the decks of cards. Okay, so the last um, evolution of this game to make it more difficult would be for the kids to have to also match up light, like suits. So you could have, so all the diamonds would have to be in order, all the hearts would have to be in order, and etc. So if I were to start this game this way, I would move that over there. My four could go on top of my five. And now the six would go with the four or five. So I can move this whole thing over, over here. And now I have a seven over here and a six, which means I can move this whole sequence over here. However, let's say that there was a wrong suited or wrong sequenced card on the bottom of this pile. I can no longer move this pile. I can only move the, t the last card of a sequence. So if this 10 is all by himself, I can only move this 10. Or I can only move this 6 because he's the last uh, card in a full sequence. So I hope those instructions are pretty clear. I will try to leave some detailed instructions in the description of this video down below. And uh, hopefully that gives you a few minutes of peace and quiet while your kids are playing a new game of solitaire. Thanks for watching.